Hey, uh, what's going on out there, everybody? Rooster here in Tennessee looking at this Cobra 29 LTD Classic SE. Uh, this one has been done up by Gump, had all his mods done to it. Receive mod, uh, widened out receive, quietened down receive. Uh, white LED meter light is in there. Variable power on the RF gain. Um, channel 9 switch has the VFO wind up on and off when it's turned up. VFO wind up is on. When it's turned down, no wind up. So we are uh, listening to the wind up through that uh, grant sitting over there in the background. Uh, transmit mod, uh, transmit tune, whatever you want to call it, and uh, audio uh, modifications, modulation uh, mods have been done to it. Uh, not a bad looking radio in pretty good shape physically, uh, specifically after I, I polished it up. Um, I took time to wipe it down and everything and got it looking pretty good. The face on it's in pretty nice shape. It does have a few dings in it here, a little ding back there in the back. Um, this is a November of 1996 radio, I believe. You can see some wire right there around the bracket. And back here, it used to have a sticker on it or something back there. But uh, overall, pretty decent shape. It's got some scratches on top that you can't really see after I cleaned it up but uh no uh real flaws with it i will say the internal speaker is bad on it uh, i guess i should point to the bottom there uh internal speaker is bad i've got a uh, external hooked up to it right now I'm not sure if that's a big deal to anybody or not it's not a big deal to me because i always run a uh, external speaker and if this radio doesn't sell i don't mind keeping this one myself um, i actually had it hooked up and uh, talked on it i think for a day or so and uh, the, the amp I had hooked up in line, this thing really drove it uh, really good. Drove the, drove the heck out of it. So if this one doesn't sell, uh, this is one that I can, I can throw on the shelf and, and have as a spare uh, backup radio if I ever need one to my, uh, to my 1000. So uh, that being said, uh, variable dead key right here on the RF gain. Let's turn it wide open and we will uh, test the output on this radio. Turn this grand off so we're not feeding back. Let's uh, test the output here. Come over here to our Bird 43P. Uh, we're on average power right now. We're just gonna check the dead key. I'm wide open, we're looking at about six watts. We're looking at the middle scale. Audio. We're gonna back that down just a little bit so we're not cutting ourselves off here. Audio, about eight watts. <whistles> Whistling about eight and a half. Audio, audio in about eight. Talking, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, around seven or so. Oh, yep, there you go. Now let's just turn it all the way down to show you how far down it will go. This is all the way down here. We are keyed up. Audio, about eight and a half there. Audio, audio. Between eight and nine, so we'll call it eight and a half average. Now let's go to peak. Audio, radio, audio, radio, audio, radio, just like that, between 35 and 40. And if we just audio, with that low audio pushing it past 40. <clears throat> now we'll just talk into the mic normal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Audio test, just like we would talk on the radio there. Hello, come in. Break, break, break. How's it going out there today? Break, audio test. One, two, about 35. Audio. Again, over 40 with the audio. Audio, radio, one, two, radio, 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 with the highs around 38 to 40. And then just talking normal into the mic, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. About 35. Uh, let's see, what else, what else, what else? Let's uh, show you that it does, in fact, receive. There's a volume wide open there. Got the external hooked up. No static, really. Uh, key this, uh, let's see, Cobra 90, let's key it up, dummy load to dummy load, just to show you that this thing does in fact receive. 
Audio. Audio. One, two, audio. There we go. Audio. I think our mic was acting up on our Cobra 90. Audio. One, two. Audio. One, two. Dummy load to dummy load. Dummy load to dummy load. Audio. Test, test. One, two, three. Audio test. One, two, three. Audio. So there's it uh, receiving just fine. Again, internal speaker doesn't work. Everything else functions on it as it should. These are a little bit harder to find out of the, uh, I guess you would say limited edition radios. You got these, the uh, Harleys, Harley Davidson, uh, Army Strong, Earnhardt, Earnhardt Jr. Um, let's see, I know there's some that I'm leaving out. Uh, let's see, there's the limited edition that has the gold covers on it. I really don't care a lot for those. Um, trying to think of course you got the gold cover radios i really don't count those but uh out of all the limited edition limited production ones the se is probably the uh the hardest or one of the hardest to find that's why i don't care if i sell it or not i mean it is for sale but um i'm not going to be crushed if it doesn't sell because they're not a uh, not super easy to come by and this one does a good job they all do a good job, but uh, I really like the way this one does. Uh, questions, comments, complaints, shoot me a text, 423-299-3535 if you're interested in this radio or another radio like it out there. I uh, hope to catch you guys out on the band. Rooster in Tennessee. See you, bye.